Hello everybody. This will be a tutorial on how to install WordPress on Ubuntu server. First of all, let's install LAMP stack. Type in sudo apt-get install apache2 space mysql-server space php5 space php5 dash mysql and also for the wordpress we will need additional module which is php5 dash gd so that we will be able to resize images press enter and confirm the installation you will be prompted to enter password for mysql root user enter it the installation has been completed and now let's run this command to secure mysql installation type in mysql underscore secure installation enter mysql root password and if you are doing it on your real server uh, change root password to strong one i will say no in this case remove anonymous users uh, disallow root login remotely remove test database reload privileges and we've just set up our lamp stack if you want to get more information you can watch my previous video on how to do that and now let's start in configuring our uh, wordpress uh, let's log into mysql type in mysql dash u root dash p and let's create the database for the wordpress type in create database and database name uh, let's say wp test also let's create a mysql user for the wordpress database type in grant all privileges and then database name dot star on I forgot to put on database name dot star two and then username add and then in quotes host name localhost so that this user will be able to access to the database from localhost only identified by and then in quotes type in the password for the user which you want to use the last command is flash privileges press enter and to exit from the shell hit ctrl d i will clear screen now let's create virtual host in apache uh, for our wordpress site type in sudo cp we will copy the default configuration file uh, which is located as at etsy apache sites available 00, zero default and let's copy it in the same directory but under different name uh, let's say wptest.conf let's edit it type in sudo nana and then the file path wptest.conf and here uh, I will uncomment server name uh, which is domain name and I will use this uh, domain name which is wptest.com this is just for testing purposes also change the document root uh, this is where our WordPress files are located so let's say war www and wptest.com save the file and exit uh, now we need to add uh, our virtual host to apache to do that type in sudo a2n site and means enable and then configuration name which is wptest also let's disable default virtual host we don't need it so let's do it with this command a to this site this means disable 
and configuration name is 000, zero default the last thing uh, which we need to do is to reload apache type in sudo service apache to reload and we've just enabled our virtual host it should be available and working so let's move to the next step i will clear screen let's create file structure for the wordpress change directory to var www let's get listing and here you can see the folder for the default virtual host which we've just disabled and let's create another directory for our wordpress type in sudo mkdir wptest.com make sure that you are using exactly the same name for the directory as you specified in configuration for the virtual host press enter let's change the owner of that folder uh, type in command sudo change own and the owner will be the current user which I have so type dollar sign user in caps then colon and www dash data this is a group for Apache user and the directory name WP test also let's change the permissions by typing sudo change mode and then 2770 and then the folder name let's check the permissions and you can see that the owner is my current user the group is Apache group and we have read and write permissions so let's change directory to that folder to wptest.com and let's download WordPress by typing wget wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz press enter it will be downloaded in few seconds and then we will extract files from this archive by typing tar dash xzf and then file name press enter let's get listing and you can see that all files are located in wordpress directory and let's copy them into the current directory by typing cp-r wordpress slash dot space dot slash press enter and now let's remove wordpress directory we don't need it any longer by typing rm-rf wordpress also let's remove archive and let's get listing uh, this is clean file structure for the wordpress and now uh, let's create configuration file this is uh, the default template for the configuration uh, which we're gonna copy into the real configuration file so type in cp wp config sample and copy it to wp dash config dot php press enter and let's edit our real config by typing nano wp config dot php scroll it down and here let's change few settings the first setting is WordPress database name which is WP test in my case username is WP user in my case the password is really simple do not do do not use something like this in real life and the last setting uh, which we need type in fs underscore method and the value would be direct 
close the brackets, put semicolon. Uh, this variable is necessary to allow WordPress write files directly to the file system uh, so that you can do updates directly from your WordPress admin and let's save this file and exit change directory one level up now we will change all permissions recursively for all WordPress files to do that type in sudo find and then where I want uh, to start our search from so this is the WordPress directory space and then find all files of this type so dash type f f min files and dash exec so we will execute command which is change mode and it will be 600 for the files space curly braces space slash semicolon press enter and we will change permissions uh, of all files recursively let's do the same for directories so change f to d which means directory and change mode 2770 and everything else is just the same press enter all directories all permissions of directories have been changed and let's check it by typing ls dash la then directory name and you can see that our user has read and write permissions and Apache group also has read and write permissions which looks fine now and I will open up the browser to check our WordPress site in the browser type in hostname of your WordPress site in my case this is wptest.com press enter and it will show us default installation page where we need to select language and location I'll select the default one also type in site title username and also remember your password you will need it to log in to WordPress admin type in some email and finally click install WordPress it will create database structure and will redirect us to admin dashboard where we can manage our website let's check the main page by fixing the URL I will remove WP admin and will open it up you can see how it looks and I'll try to open the first post you can see that URL contains this index.php file which is not really good and let's fix that issue let's go to WP admin and now we need to open settings permalinks here select the format that you like I like the second one and then click save changes it says permalink structure updated and let's check the file system I will type in the same command ls-la wp test and you can see that new file has been created uh, which is .htaccess it was created by WordPress itself uh, because we allowed it to create files directly in the file system 
and you can also see the content of that file by using cat and then wptest.htaccess so this is the content of the file and let's go back to the browser I will open the main page and I'll try to click on the first, first post and you can see an error message which is expected because we still need to fix something up in the Apache configuration so let's go back to terminal and here I'll change directory and we'll clear screen type in sudo nano and then pass to our virtual host configuration which is at, Ap at C Apache and then available uh, sites available and then the configuration name wptest.conf here we need to add some additional information in particular it is directory tag directory and then parameter would be path to our root directory close the tag by typing greater than sign and here type in allow override space all let's close the tag by typing less than sign slash directory greater than sign and save the file and exit also we need to add additional module to apache which will allow us to use uh, this kind of urls and type in sudo a2n mod which means enable module and the name is rewrite hit enter now we need to restart apache type in sudo and this command restart uh, service apache restart if we try to reload page you can see that it is working fine now and the URL looks nice without any PHP files and the last thing that I want to try is to upload some images so we will make sure that it works so I just went to med media library and I'll try to search some image to upload to our WordPress. Here I will download it first to downloads and I'll go back to WordPress and we'll click add new select files downloads image open and here you can see that we've just uploaded our image so it works fine uh, so this is it for today uh, you have your work in wordpress you can start writing posts you can upload images documents and so on and so forth thanks for watching and bye